Hello! We are Clever Cracker Squares. We are, and in our videos we say that we'll help you with stuff, and we've asked for help with stuff. Yes, yeah, so at the minute, this is Core 1, we're going to do the entirety of a Core 1 paper. It will all be in the same playlist if you're in our playlist. We're going to have a question per video, so it's better split up. Yep. And best to start with question 1, do you think? Oh, I think it's a good place to start. Yeah. So, we are doing January 2008. Remember, there's a January and a June in 2008. There is. Core um, 1 and it's uh, AQA. Well, we can yep. do other things if you want us to, but we were asked this time to do AQA. Yep, so, question number 1. Now I've wrote it up here, roughly, but this isn't word for word what it says in the exam. Um, very much. From the exam. So question one, the triangle ABC has vertices A is that, B is that, and C is that. So they, they are your corners of the triangle, that's what vertices mean. Yep, so it's going to be a shape there, and you can yeah. get A is the midpoint of B to C. So from the point B to the BC will be a line, the we'll line will it. have a length, find the midpoint. Absolutely, there's an equation for this. There is, we so did it in our video. Of, um, is it BC? BC, yep. Um, we know that B is 4, 1, we were given that in the question, and C is 2, 5, we were given that in the question. So to find the midpoint of each thing, you want a middle X value and a middle Y value. It's going to be in a coordinate form. And it's trips like down that. up here. X1 plus X2. X1 is B, and X2 is C. Yeah, X1 is B. Divide it by 2, it will find the middle. Sort of like finding the average of a number. It is. So the average will be the midpoint. And it's the same. same with the Y. So we'll do that now. So what are my two points, Win? Well, it's from B to C. B is 4, and C is 2. Is so it X? Yeah, so that's 6. Divide by 2, which means that point is 3. So your middle X coordinate will be 3. So for the Y, 1 plus 5, which is 6. six. So again, it's 3. So your midpoint will be... 3, 3. And you can just leave it in coordinate form like that. You can. So, part B. Part B is split into part 1, 2 and 3. Yeah. Um, quite common of this sort of question. So B part 1, to find the gradient of A, B. So it's from the point A to the point B, again it's a line, yep. you will have a gradient. And again we have another equation. If you remember back to your uh, equations, we have our y equals mx plus c. That's the equation for any straight line, and from point A to point B is going to be a straight line because it's it a is. triangle. Yeah. Now, our gradient is our M, as we want to find out. And to find that out, we do change in Y over change in X. So, that's just something you have to remember, change in Y over change in X. The yeah. change in Y is the difference in the Y represented with this triangle, it's delta. Yeah. So the difference in Y between the two points, we're going from A to B. So you find the two different differences, so we've got three. And one, the difference is two. Yep. So that's two over, and then the difference in x is from minus two to four, which is six. It is. However, if we're going from a to b to make this six, from a to b here would be minus two, so the gradient is actually going to be negative. It is. So then we'll have the gradient of negative a third. A third, two over six is a third. And you must leave it like that. You can't put the x afterwards because that's. That's just part of the equation, you have to leave the gradient like that. Shall we briefly take a step back and then rub it out, we've got more yeah. room. So, just in case you didn't see it. Stuff, that should be enough time for you to pause it if you need to. Okay, so I'm going to read out the next question. Okay. Part 2 says, hence, find the equation of AB. Now, to find the equation of AB, we're going to need what we've done in a previous question. That's what this word, hence, here means. It means using something you've already done in the same question. Yeah. So the gradient we just found out was minus a third. It was minus a third, so I'll write that down. Now we're going to go back to that equation you mentioned, Trip. What was yeah, that? Yeah, that was y equals mx plus c. Now of these values, to put it in a full equation form, you need an amount of x, you do. and you're going to need a c, because that's, that's a constant. Yeah, that, that c is your y-intercept, the point the line goes through y-axis. Yep. At the minute, we don't have that. We don't. So what we're going to need to do is put in a y and an x value, so the only thing left to find would be what c equals. Yeah. So, a y value of either a or b, it doesn't matter, but you need to stick for the x and y from one of them. I'm thinking this one, Truth, because there's no negative numbers. I think that's a good idea. So, our y value is 1. Yep. So, 1 equals our x value is 4, and that's times by the gradient here. And minus a third in brackets times by 4. Because mx is m times x. It is. Plus c. So that gives us minus four thirds plus c. We're going to get rid of the minus four thirds. So you're going to take it over to the other side you are. by plussing it on the other side. So then you have two and a third on this side. And that equals c, and that's as simple as that. Yeah, the right of your equation, again, we're giving in y equals minus a third x 
plus two and a third. But wait, Triv, we're not actually finished. Are we not? You see, it says hence find the equation of AB. We have found an equation. We found that equation. But it wants it in the form x plus qy equals r, so where the q is an integer and r. Ah, in which case, these two things are over, well, the r is over three, essentially. Yes. And you can see in this example, it's going to be one x. There's no coefficient. So what you're going to do is try and get the coefficient of x, which is currently minus a third, to be just one. Yeah. So you want it to be over the other side. Yep. And you want to times it by three. Do that bit first. Yep. So we'll have three lots of y. You've got to times everything on both sides of the equation. Minus by three. x. Now we can put this bit back on top of our constant. It will be like having seven thirds. Yep. So that'll be plus seven. Yes. Yeah. You should get used to your fractions. Um, and then it can be a place where people. But then you rearrange it so it becomes yep, it x and y on one side as you'll notice. 3y on the other. plus x equals 7. And that would be your equation. It would indeed. So are you ready for part 3? I am. Part 3 says find an equation through c, which is here, parallel to ab. Now there's a, there's a, there's a hint in that question. There is, and that's the word parallel. Yeah, and parallel means the same gradient. So we, account for. we have a gradient. Um, we had it back here, it was minus a third. It is. And it's going through C this time. So that's the point you put into your y equals mx plus c equation. Yeah. So that's a parallel, that's the same gradient. So y equals mx plus c will equal minus a third x plus, plus c. Again, we don't have the c, and as Trip said, it's this one to put in. Yeah. So 5 is your y, and 2 is your x. So minus a third times 2 plus c, your constant. Yep, you do the same thing as last time, times up by two, so it's two thirds, move it to the other side. Yep, so you're going to have five and two thirds on this side, because you're just going to add it, and that will equal your c value. Now you've got to put it back into the full form with y and x just being y and x. m is still minus a third, that doesn't change, but now you have your c to plonk on the end. It doesn't specify that it wants these ones in integers, so, so you'll be safe to leave it in that form. You can. Now the last point, one is proving that X ABC is a right angled triangle. There's only one way to do that, isn't it? There is indeed, and that's proving that two of the lines are perpendicular to each other, hence there'll be a right angle there. That's the only way to do it. Or you can use Pythagoras if it works. If you can use that one, you can do that. But Very good. Either way works. Which one do you want to use? Uh, your way is faster, as you don't have the lengths of the lines yet. Okay. So, we know that our BC is greater than minus a third. Mm -hmm. So you want to know if our no A B is a minus a third. Sorry, so you want to know if our B um, A C is three. Yeah, because then it'll be perpendicular because that's the only line so far that we haven't found. So just to reiterate that we have our gradient of A B. That was worked out in B part one. Yeah, which is minus is a minus third. a third. And if a line is perpendicular to it, its gradient will be the reciprocal, mm -hmm. which means it will be. The opposite way around. Yep, and that means that minus a third times the other one will be minus one, so it can only be three. Three, absolutely. So, we need to work out what this gradient is. And the gradient of this thing is, what was it again? C A or? A to C. Yeah. If that's three, that proves that it, that part is right angles to A B. So A C, we do the same thing we did before. We have to do our change in Y over change in X. So we're going from A to C. I this one's three, one. this one's five, so it's going to be two is your change. Yep. And that's divided by minus two up to two, which is four. Two over four is a half. So that one isn't perpendicular to that one. So and there's then only one line left. There is, and that is BC. B to C. So it's the same thing again. So our change in Y over our change in X for that one is... Our change in Y goes from one to five is four. Yeah. And our change in x is from 4 to 2, so it's minus 2, which is... Ah, that wasn't quite what I was expecting. This is minus 2, this one here, which is perpendicular to the half. I wasn't ah. quite ready for that. No, I wasn't either. I was, like, I was still looking for 3. But as long as it's true somewhere, so this is, re is reciprocal of that one. But you have two perpendicular lines, that's the thing we're looking for. You can prove that for it's right angle triangle, and yeah. there you go, you've done the question. Send a question. Ta-da! Now on to question two. Yep, I'll see you there.